Hey everybody, this is Dave from Growing Home Garden. I'm back here at our red buckeye plant and I'm just showing you how you know when the seeds are ripe. See that pod there has split open completely. And this has revealed itself. So that is a buckeye. See where it gets its name? Anyway, those can be planted any time now and left to flower or actually to germinate in the spring. Produce a nice plant with red flowers that the hummingbirds are really going to enjoy. And it takes a few years for that to happen, but it's definitely worth the wait. So I've got that one. Another one there that's split open. Couple more up there. And one here. I made you go ahead and just pull all of these off because they're probably about to open up. Hey everybody, I decided to go ahead and sow these seeds mostly because if you don't sow them immediately, their germination rate dives pretty pretty quickly. So you really need to get them sown within a week of, of harvesting them, or you'll have to moist stratify them over the winter, I believe. I haven't actually done that part of it. So I'm going to go ahead and plant these up in the six inch pot, or these six pots here. And um, I'll bury each one of them about two inches deep in the pot. What I really like about these seeds are pretty cool. It's just looking at the little patterns on the exterior part of the seed. It reminds me of wood. It's just really cool looking. Kind of looks like an avocado seed to an extent too. So let me get to it. I'm going to fill these pots with soil and we'll get these planted. So here you can see I put each of them into a pot of their own so they have room to grow. And I'm just going to come back and cover them up good to the top of each pot. I'll make a little mess there but you know what you do in your garden. So, pretty simple. Just make sure they're all covered up really good. I may need a little bit more dirt than that. So I'll come over here. I'm just using a brand of garden soil. It's actually organic. I'm going to fill that up as much as I can, and then I'm going to take these over underneath the tree where I'm going to leave them for a while. Red Buckeye likes to be an understory tree, so it can be planted out in some shady areas, mostly shady spots. What I'll do with these once I get a good plant growing is I'll take them out to our land and plant them out in that direction. I've got one here on our property, and I really don't want to transplant it. So if I can get something to grow out of one of these, that would be excellent. So there we go. Next up. So I'm just going to give these a good dose of water. And I like to plant things like this or set them somewhere near other plants that can benefit from the runoff water, like these hostas. These are the hostas I transplanted a while back because of that Shasta viburnum that I moved or cut down, rather. And then over here, I've got a few other things. You'll notice a little baby Shasta viburnum that came from a cutting. I've got some hops plants that took a little bit of a shock when I moved them over here. A honeysuckle and a little hydrangea. There's even a little Japanese maple right there. That was a seedling that I found on the other side of the house. So anyway, I'll take these red buckeye seeds, just keep them moist for a while. Let them send out a nice taproot and grow. And then hopefully by spring of this coming year, I'll get to plant them out somewhere on our other property. And uh, they'll be bloom sized by the time we get something built out there. So anyway, that's how I'm planting these. We'll see how they do and check their progress. The one thing I'm mostly concerned about are squirrels and chipmunks. So I may come up with some sort of a cover on these, at least on a temporary basis until they've germinated and are starting to grow. 
So that's Dave from Growing the Home Garden. Thanks for watching.